Hey guys, what's going on? This is Rick the Middle Class Millennial and today I got a new Craftsman tool that I'm going to be reviewing. Now a while back I reviewed this little Craftsman USB adapter that you could plug your cell phone charger into, nothing fancy. Well thanks to a commenter, I found out they have a newer improved uh, product of that that just came out recently. And apparently it's got a 110 port on it and a Type A USB and a Type C. USB. So we're going to go ahead and dig into this thing and see how it does, and we're going to do some quick testing on it. So it looks pretty generic here. Out of the box, I can tell they're a little, it's a little bit larger. Looks like it has a fan in here too, because it has air holes in it. It might have a fan. We're going to find out. But like the uh, Ego I reviewed, it's 150 watts, peak watts. See right here we have a 110. And a USB-C, and uh, I think that is, I could be wrong. Yeah, two USB ports, the smaller cell phone charger and the larger one. So, anyway, that's cool. So, yeah, and then looks like a light and a power button. So, anyway, to give it a fair chance, we're going to be testing out on the uh, 9 amp hour battery. As far as I know, this is the biggest uh, battery that Craftsman makes for the 20 volt lineup. So, we're going to be fair to it and give it the maximum. Okay, so it does have a fan in it. It has a light. Ooh, that geez, that light's bright. Aside for chest levels, first thing first, let's test the light out. So pretty bright. You want to guys get an idea of that? Pretty bright light, in my opinion, which eliminates the need for emergency lighting, in my opinion, because you have it right here. So looks like out of that plug, we're getting 100 and 101, 103 uh, volts out of that. So they're converting the 20 volts into about 100 volts AC. So you can see it's charging my work tablet, no problem. Like I said, it has a power button, so make sure to turn the power on. So, all right, now we're going to actually do some extra testing with it here. So we're going to go ahead and test it on this cheap box fan you can get from Walmart. I thought, well, hey, this might be a good load test. So we'll see how it performs. That's on high. So I am charging my work tablet, as you can see up here, and running the box fan on high on this battery inverter sound a little noisy compared to like the 110 you hear that hum to it in fact just to find out real quick so i'm not right plugged into the normal outlet i'm not getting that same hum that i got earlier using the inverter now i'm going to try this fan that i i didn't use in the ego review but i did test it out i've already noticed plugging it into the inverter i do hear a hum from the fan and i haven't even powered it on yet but let's see how it performs Virtually same output as the 110 in my opinion, or the 120 volt uh, outlet in my opinion. Now, so let's see if it shuts off. No, it does not. So it did the same thing that the Ego inverter did. So when you turn the power button off on this, see how it's lit up here? It will not shut the fan off. But it's okay, you got a power button right on the inverter, so you wanna shut it off, just, there you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for the ultimate test. I put a splitter on here. We're gonna run a generic light fixture with an LED light bulb in it, which is like a 60 watt equivalent. I forget, I think it uses like 10 watts. With our box fan, with our tablet charging, we're gonna see how it does. The box fan up first, we're gonna turn it on high. So we got a light off of here, we got the box fan on high, we got the light bulb running, and we got the tablet running. That last test, guys, we're going to downgrade the, the batteries. We're going to go to a 6 and test everything under the stress test, then a 4. And then this one came with my first drill that I bought years ago. This is a 1.3. I think this is the lowest grade amp hour battery. It's All right, we have the 6 amp hour battery on now, so we're going to go ahead. Tablet's charging. No issues. 4 amp hour. No issues. Right, final test. I don't recommend using it on a battery this small for this much load unless you're charging your tablet we're doing a 1.3 fan kicks on for a second turn it on box fan it's a little longer to kick on light all off of that little 1.3 amp hour battery wow so in conclusion would i recommend this little device this little inverter this the inverter was 50 dollars at lowe's absolutely i highly recommend it for what it does uh honestly it does just as much as the ego did for 100 bucks if not more for half the price if you already have the craftsman 20 volt lineup i think it's a no-brainer i think this is great if you're tent camping if you want to run a fan in your tent and charge your phone as far as the batteries go i don't know how long like for example the nine amp hour is going to last running this box fan but even if you get a couple hours out of this 
You're not going to be using the box fan entirely while you're tent camping. Plus, too, they make these little bug zappers you could also plug into here. And if you want to use emergency line, just use a light off of, of the uh, the inverter itself. Don't even bother using uh, a lamp. So, anyway, guys, highly recommend this product. You guys have a great day, and thank you so much for the person that left a comment mentioning this. I'm, I'm glad I got to check this product out. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment and a like down below. If you guys have any questions as far as what you guys want me to power with this little inverter, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, till next time, you guys take care.